plastic, chalk, gelling agent, pumice, white color pigments, and blue ones. And this is the final product, an eraser with a white end and a blue end. The white end is for erasing pencil marks. The blue end is for ballpoint pen ink, the arch enemy of any eraser. This is where the ingredients for the blue end are mixed. There's a recipe to follow, just like baking a cake. To give the eraser a chance against the nastiest of ballpoint inks, a very large amount of pumice is added. The blue color doesn't have any special significance, it just serves as a means of identification. The mixture has to be kneaded in order to ensure that there are no lumps. The well-mixed paste is then filled into a funnel. A machine called an extruder then presses the mixture into a thick strand. Not only in the laboratory, also on a large scale in the factory. This is the eraser still in liquid form, in blue and in white. And this is what it looks like when it comes out of the machine. How is it done? Inside the machine, the eraser mixture is shaped to form thick strands and is carefully heated. The heat transforms the mixture into a thick jelly-like material. Now both strands have to be joined together at just the right moment. If they're too hard, the strands won't stick together. If they're too soft, the white and blue colors will intermix. One of the most important factors of all is the right temperature. That's why manufacturers keep it a secret. Well above 100 degrees is all that Staedtler's prepared to say. For good reason, too. A mere one degree too high or too low, and the eraser won't be any good. The next step is to stamp it with the manufacturer's logo. It is still fairly hot at this stage, so water is required to cool it down. Later, the water is simply blown away. Then, the eraser is cut to size. The pumice content in the erasers causes the cutting blades to go blunt. The blades, therefore, have to be changed every four hours. Then it's time to join the queue for a sleeve. One hundred kilograms of erasers an hour are made by this machine alone. That's one hundred thousand pieces a day.